I think we can all agree that gas nowadays is crazy for reasons that we don't even need to get into. With that being said, it's more critical now than ever for rideshare and delivery drivers to save money on gas in various ways that they can. That's why in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you eight apps that can help you save money when it comes to filling up at the pump and getting gas. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. And as mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be covering eight apps that can assist you when it comes to filling up at the pump. The way these apps work is you either get some kind of discount using the app itself, you get cash back using the app itself, or you can identify what stations have the best deals going on at the time. So with that being said, let's get into it. The first app that we're gonna talk about is the Upside app. The Upside app is probably the most popular gas app nowadays. It allows you to go to certain gas stations and get cash back based on what deals are going on at the time. The way the app works is you go to a gas station, you either A, upload a receipt after you finish filling up at the pump, or B, you use a debit card that's on file with Upside, and then you'll be able to get cash back. Once you've done this process, cash back tends to come into your account between one to three business days later. Once cash back has been deposited into your account, you can then cash out that cash back via PayPal or various gift card options inside the Upside app. On top of this, if you decide to refer a friend so that they can start saving money on gas too, you'll get a 15 cent bonus per gallon the next time you fill up at the pump. After that, you'll get one cent cash back for every gallon that your friend spends money on from that point on at the pump. Definitely not a bad deal if I do say so myself. We made a video about the Upside app and how the whole process works, so if you want to know the details of exactly how this works visually, be sure to check out the video on the screen. It's also going to be linked in the pinned comment. And if you want to sign up for GetUpside, there's a link to sign up there as well. Moving on to our second app that's very useful when it comes to saving at the pump is the Gas Buddy app. According to Gas Buddy, they work with 95% of gas stations within the US, which is pretty appealing. With Gas Buddy, you get a card from them and you attach your bank account to it for the instant savings you'll get at the pump. And users just like us can update the prices in the app so that we can have the most to date information. In a way, it's kind of like the ways of the gas saving apps for the simple fact that the users can keep the information up to date when it comes to gas savings. And in this economy, you can best believe that your fellow gig workers are gonna be updating that information pretty accurately. And since Gas Buddy uses a card, it's easy to be combined with the GetUpside app so that you can double dip and save even further from both apps. The third app we're gonna talk about is Fetch Rewards app. Fetch Rewards is mostly known for its ability for you to get points that can be used to get uh, various gift cards on the app by uploading your shopping receipts. Most people think this is limited to uh, just grocery receipts, but you can actually upload receipts in regards to your gas as well. And if you're keeping up with the theme of this video, there's nothing stopping you from double dipping from GetUpside from Gas Buddy and also printing out that receipt and using it for Fetch Rewards. Some important things to know about the Fetch Rewards app is if your account remains inactive for over 90 days, then your points will be uh, canceled out. It should also be repointed out that you can't cash out your money on PayPal. You'll need to spend that money on some kind of gift card within the Fetch Rewards app. With that being said, they offer a variety of gift cards that you can pick from, including the Amazon gift cards. In my personal opinion, though, that's still awesome because I can pretty much guarantee you that almost everyone uses Amazon, so you're going to be saving money in some form or fashion. It's just coming from a different area that stemmed from you spending money on gas, so it's still a savings. The fourth app that can help you when it comes to gas savings is True Now. This is an app that can help you find the cheapest gas prices in your area, as well as earn cash back with every gas station receipt you upload. In some areas of the country, you can find rewards that you can use to cash out, but otherwise you'll need to wait until your PayPal balance exceeds a certain amount of money. One of the benefits of this app is that you can combine points earned from gas purchases with points earned from grocery stores and restaurants as well. This is something that you can also do with Fetch Rewards too. The downside of True Now is that the savings take a while to add up. You need 100 points to earn $1, and from what we can tell, each dollar you spend is worth half a point. This means that it could take a while for the points to stack up, but at the same time, it's uh, very little that you personally have to do to get these points to stack up. All you need to do is upload your gas receipt. As an added bonus with the True Now app in terms of value, 
You can also check for deals at your local gas station because sometimes they are run on the True Now app. For this to work, all you need to do is click on the deal that you want to take advantage of and then upload that receipt to the True Now app and you'll get credit for it. Now the apps that we talked about are direct ways that will help you save money at the pump. But there are also apps that can help you in a different way when it comes to saving money on gas. The main way being that it lets you know the prices at select gas stations and then you can make an informed decision on where you want to fill up at. One of those said apps is the fifth app we're going to talk about which is the Waze Navigation app. Waze is an app that you can use for navigation while you're driving for the gig apps. One thing I really like about Waze since it is the navigation that I personally use is that everything is inside the app since I'm already using it for navigation. Waze shows you the gas stations in your area as well as the price per gallon. It also lets you know when this price was last updated. So if you feel like this might be inaccurate, just check when that price was last updated. And if it was updated like over a month ago, then you know that it needs to be re-updated so you can try someone else. On the same token, if it was updated yesterday, well, it's pretty fair to say that that's probably accurate and you should go fill up. Another app that can help you in terms of gas that works kind of similar to Waze, the AAA Trip Tick Travel Planner. The main difference between this and the Waze app is you do need a AAA account in order to utilize this. It also helps you plan out long road trips with up to 25 stops that allows you to fully plan out a trip without needing to plug in address after address. One thing that should be mentioned about this app is it's probably the most worth it if you already have a AAA account and plan to do traveling outside of rideshare services. Otherwise, the sign-up fee may not be worth it. Keep in mind that it does include roadside assistance, so if your current insurance company doesn't offer roadside assistance, then this might actually be a benefit to you. If you do just use their website instead of the app though, you can actually use these trip planning features and the gas finding features without having a subscription to their services. The seventh app that can help you save money at the pump is the Gas Guru app. Well, I guess it is pretty fitting given this name, right? It functions pretty similar to the Waze and the AAA app, with the main difference being that all you need to do is click on the best nearby and it will show you the best location for getting gas based on their prices right then instead of you having to scroll up and down the app to find out the best. That's definitely a time saver and it requires significantly less effort if you're like me and you don't like doing a bunch of fiddling with your phone in between trips. Just like Waze, it will also show you when this information was last updated. This can be a great alternative app if you're not really so interested in getting cash back from GetUpside or Fetch Rewards, apps like that. You just want to see what gas station offers the cheapest rates, then the Gas Guru app is definitely going to be your speed. The eighth app that will help you save money at the pump is the Dosh app. The Dosh app isn't just made for gas rewards. You can also earn cash back for shopping, dining, and gas purchases. They boast on their website that it's not points and it's not coupons, just cash. For this to work, you'll first need to download the Dosh app and then connect a debit card to it. Once this is done, you can get up to 10% on qualifying purchases. One good thing that should be noted about Dosh is when you cash out, they let you cash out via PayPal, Venmo, or directly to your bank account. I personally do like that directly to bank account option because I think that more cashback services should offer that if I'm being honest. Now, if you're the type of person that would enjoy Dosh, not just for the gas savings, but also the savings on shopping, then you'll definitely want to check out the Rakuten app too because they offer a lot of similar discounts and cashback when it comes to general shopping. Now, I know I said I had eight apps for you, but we do have an honorable mention, so let's call this app number nine, which is the Receipt Hog. The way the Receipt Hog works is you just upload receipts from anywhere and then you can receive some cash back. A lot of people actually like this because it doesn't involve you sharing any debit card information. You just upload a receipt and then you can get the benefits of it which is definitely a plus if uh, that does bother you sharing debit card information. All you need to do is give them a receipt and you can start getting cash back. With that being covered, we've actually covered nine apps that can help you save money at the pump instead of eight, which is pretty awesome. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you have an interest in any of the apps that we talked about, you can check out our article on the rideshareguide.com that has more intense information on these apps as well as how to sign up for them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It very much helps with the algorithm. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. 
We drop videos every single week that talk about the gig economy via strategies and also news that drops that impacts drivers. If you found this video valuable, you'll definitely want to check out the video that we did on the GetUpside app, which shows a process of how you can get cash back using GetUpside at the pump. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.